including the supersonic F-A-50 light combat aircraft used by the Rokov and exported. Korean industry was also involved in a local production of the Block 52 F-16 CD multi-role fighter for the Rokov. The KF-21 does exhibit some low observable features, adopting the Kanta twin tails, fuselage shaping, and edge alignment, among other features, established by the F-22 and F-35. However, it does not provide the kind of all-aspect stealth offered by these U.S. fighters. Instead, the twin-engine jet is intended to fill the gap between the F-35 and the F-16, in terms of capabilities, but should be cheaper overall than the F-35, the sustainment cost of which is a cause for concern in the United States and elsewhere. The KF-21's weapons will be carried externally, on six under-wing and four under-fuselage hardpoints. Once the jet is in service, around 2026, work is expected to commence on a more advanced derivative, featuring internal weapons carriage. For example, in its initial form, the KF-21 is expected to have a radar cross-section equivalent to the Eurofighter Typhoon. But successive upgrades should reduce this much further. Even the fighter flying into combat without weapons in its most survivable state could be an important sensor node for other fighter aircraft of lesser capabilities. Under a project worth a total of $7.9 billion, South Korea is developing the KF-21 together with Indonesia, which agreed to pay 20% of development costs and plans to acquire 50 examples for its own air force. In the past, Indonesia was behind on payments for the program and there were suggestions that its status in the program could be under threat. However, Indonesia's Minister of Defense Prabowo Subianto attended today's rollout ceremony and Korean officials confirmed that the cooperation plans remained in place. The plan is to make the aircraft available for export to other countries too. All in all, the KF-21 could be a very attractive proposition for foreign customers. The aircraft has been designed to have better kinematic performance than an F-16C and will feature an active electronically scanned array ESA radar, produced by South Korea's Hanwha systems, as well as advanced weapons options, including the ramjet-powered Meteor air-to-air -air missile provided by Europe's MBDA. Flight tests of a demonstrator radar have already begun using a Boeing 737 testbed. Weapons have already been selected for the Block 2 version of the KF-21. These comprise the GBU-12 Paveway 2, GBU-3138 Joint Direct Attack Munition, GBU-5456 Laser JDAM, GBU-39 Per Byte Small Diameter Bomb, and the CBUE-105 Wind Corrected Munitions Dispenser. All these stores are currently in Rokov service which should accelerate the integration process. The new fighter jet is expected to carry a payload of up to 16,975 pounds. A maximum takeoff weight of 56,000.
for signals intelligence, surveillance, and tactical reconnaissance. Additional intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR capacity is provided by specially configured Dassault Falcon 2000X aircraft, adapted for the role by L3 communications integrated systems. These platforms would help provide the KF-21 and other fighters with real-time data on North Korean air, land, and sea threats. Were the two countries to go to war, the KPAF would still be able to put up significant numbers of admittedly obsolete aircraft but would instead rely upon its huge advantage in artillery and mobile missile launchers. In terms of non-conventional weapons, North Korea can call upon an expanding nuclear arsenal as well as chemical, and potentially biological, weapons. The Korean People's Army also has significant numbers of fixed and mobile surface-to-air missiles and anti-aircraft artillery, which would need to be suppressed during a large-scale conflict. With this in mind, the Block II version of the KF-21 with air-to-ground capability will likely be of particular importance to the Rokif. With its KF-21 Boromi, South Korea has taken a different route to field an indigenous new-generation multi-role fighter, rapidly and the program has made impressive progress so far. The countdown to its first flight is now on. If you like a video please give us feedback your feedback important to us please like and subscribe us for more.